uh, among this small, relatively small community of actors, as I was saying, uh, it was a very rare thing if you didn't meet all of them pretty well every other day, well, certainly more than once a week. And, you know, if, if, if somebody wasn't there, you'd say, oh, what's happened to Billy Needles? He wasn't in that last show. Has he gone away? Is he ill? Well, you know. And on the other hand, if you saw somebody whom you didn't instantly recognize, you'd say, who's that? Where does he come from? You know, because there was so much a sense of being an ensemble. It was a small body of actors in, in that community at that time. It was a very kind of friendly place to be, you know. The fact that you announced that you were actor, an actor meant that you had an entree to a kind of well-established social group. And everybody sat night after night in the, what was it called, Chez Paris on Bloor Avenue, and they, uh, that's where you went to be seen and see your friends. And it was a very small, intimate group, so you knew most of the actors in Toronto. I remember the actors here walking the hallways, waiting for the mimeographed, sheets that come out of uh, hot off the presses telling you what new shows were coming on, what shows would be up for casting. And a bunch of us actors would go down in our wash and wear suits and we'd stand around waiting to be seen by or going in to see or trying to some of these very powerful people. You'd go to the CBC and there would be various secretaries who uh, belonged to various directors and they were sort of producers in their own right in those days. So once a week you'd go around to the secretaries, you'd be known. Well, there weren't many of us, you could actually do the rounds. You could do it in about an hour and say hello and I'm here, anything coming up or hello to people and you just had to sell yourself. And so I sold myself like anybody else, you know. An actor's a bit of a whore anyway, I mean that's what you're doing. And um, I would go around and I'd get bits and pieces and some nice parts too. Always using the same actors for the worst or the better. I say the worst or the better because uh, some of us, like Maman Plouffe, for example, didn't know at all what they were saying in English. And they didn't know how, how to pronounce the... the, the, the you no, know, I, I remember uh, Maman Plouffe saying, uh, bring the police, <laughs> or call the police. You know? <laughs> it must have been the way the, the old studio system felt, you know, for in the Hollywood where all the supports and featured players and so on were hanging around the hallways waiting for work. This was a very, very busy community. We had these triumphs and we had prize-winning television shows within two or three years, while um, international prize winners, while the Canadian critics were still damning the CBC for putting out third-rate stuff. 